Okay, welcome everyone. As we welcome in Irving Fishbaum, Barish Gesserman, Baruch Ian, Yitzhi Padua, Eddie Chazan, Yisrael Fisher. Um, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, um, for Sabo, that's Shimon Klein, and Rich Leonard, Shelley Zeitlin, Moshe Jackman, Ruven Guy, Ilya Schutman, Yitzhi Muller, Abe Arbach, Sandy Grunfeld joining us on Facebook, David Helfgat, and uh, we. Uh, we also um, uh, want to tell you that uh, we are already way ahead in today's daf, as we are holding uh, by michte, which means let's examine, uh, which is eight lines from the top, eight lines from the top of daf yud aleph amid aleph. Eight lines from the top of Daf Yudam Aleph Amun Aleph. We'd like to ask everybody this evening to please learn for Fegaleya Basara Gittel, who is in critical condition. Fegaleya Basara Gittel. We should intensify our learning tonight for Fegaleya Basara Gittel, who is in critical condition. Um, and we uh, also learn, sponsored by Baruch Ian, Lil Nishma says to Basyoni Yakov Chaim and Abba, Ram Ben Shmuel Akayin, and Rufu Shalema for Baruch Shalema Ben Lina. We learn, sponsored by Aaron Swade, who is away now with his family. We miss him, and we hope he's having a wonderful time. We know that he's listening, and we give him a shout out for Lil Nishma, lovingly for Chana Bashmuel, and for his sister Freda Bashol, by Shimon Deer. For the Chayle Adaf and for Chayle Yisrael by Mark Frank, Lufu Shalema for Miriam Sarah Basipora, by Beric Goldwasser for Akar Satay, for what Hashem does for his family, for Chayle Yisrael, for Yudit Cyril Bas Miriam, and my Shwe Avidur Aye Ben Rivka, they should have a Rafu Shalema Besek Shah Chayle Yisrael as we welcome in Mordechai Sultan and Nachman Chapler, who had just joined us, Abe Arbach, uh, joining us as well. Okay, so the Gemara says, Mikdek. Let's examine. Bain Lamar, Bain Lamar. Whether you learn that the reason why an Arusa can't eat truma is because we're worried that she might share uh, from the truma in her parents' home, who are Yisraelim, or Bain Lamar, or the reason is because we're afraid that when he marries her, he might find a hidden mum, and retroactively then she won't be married and she would have eaten truma wrongfully. Layachla. Either way, she doesn't eat truma. My benai, what's the difference between the reason of Ula and the reason of Simpain? Says, One of Gemina is where he accepted her by the Arisen uh, without any possibility of retraction. He says he accepts her with all blemishes. So then you don't have to worry about retroactively the marriage being annulled, but you still have to worry that she might share the truma when she is an Arusa with her parents who are Yisraelim. The other two nafkaminas are if Mosar Vaholach, if she's engaged, uh, the other two nafkaminas are, it's good to have Gedalia back, Gedalia, we've been missing you, and uh, I think that's who's, who just joined us, is that Yitzhi Muller who joined us back? No, he was here before. Uh, but anyway, um, Masa uh, Vaholach is a situation where the father, when she was an Arusa, gave her over to the Shluche Abal, to the West messengers of the husband. So here she's not living with the father anymore. So the reason that she might share the truma while she's an Arusa with the Yisraelim is not a worry. The same thing is true at Halach. If the father gave her up, over, even if the shluche abal went with the shluche, uh, even if the shluche of went with the shluche abal, but since she's not living at home anymore, we don't have to worry about the fact that she might share the truma with her family that's Yisrael, and therefore that worry we don't have, but we still have the worry of simpain that maybe when he marries her, he might find a mum shebeseis or a hidden mum and annul the marriage, declaring it a mekkah tais, and then retroactively, if she would have ate truma while she was an arusa, she would have eaten truma illegally. 
Now the Gemara analyzes the machloikis between Beishame and Beisilo. And that is that Beisilo says that you can be Makadash a woman Bepruta or Beshava Pruta. And Beishamai insists on much more a dinner or a Shava dinner, which is an amount of silver. So the Gemara wants to know what the reason is of Beishamai. So says the Gemara, Bekesef. Beishamai, I remember dinner. My time I had a Beishamai. Why does Beishamai insist on a dinner? Where does he learn it from? I'm Rabbi Zaira. You know why? A woman has dignity. She doesn't give herself over for a copper coin. I'm Rabbi Zaira. She can't eat your Macbeth al She's Macbeth on herself. The aim is Kadesh's Bepochus Medina. And she's not Miss Kadesh is less than a dinner. And the Gemara at this point wants to say that even if she takes it, but she doesn't consider that money. The Kaptan, the daughters of Rabbi Yanai, that are, you know, fine uh, schmeckers. The Kaptan and Afshai, they're, they're, they're aristocracy, and they hold their heads up high. And they don't hold that it's uh, their station to be betrothed for less than three kav of golden coins. Tar kav is tray and kav. That means three kav of golden dinarim. Hachanami, do you mean to say that if they accept less than that, the pashti yod of kibla chad zuza me'achar, do you mean to say they wouldn't be Mekadeshes? It's not money for them. Hakanami dolayav kedushin says the Gemara. No, no, you're you're misunderstanding what we mean. Everybody holds. Amalei push the yod of a kibla loyka amina, where they stretch out their hand and accept it. We're not talking about that. And ain't Hakanami beishamai will be murder. That. If he says Ariyam Kadeshisly with a pruta, it would be a good Kadush if she accepts it. It's not that it's not considered money. Even one Zuz. And in uh, even if she accepts a pruta, uh, it would be good. Ki amina de kitcha balelia, where it was mekadesh in the night, so she didn't see what she was getting. Inami de shav yeshliach, or she made a shliach, so she 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 didn't show that she was accepting it. So there, Beishame says we assume that a regular woman won't give herself over less than a dinner. Eino chanami, the mafarshim say bonse de reb if it was in the night or if it was a shliach, they don't give themselves over uh, for, for less than three uh, golden denarii. Three golden denarii. That's one shot. It's a chiddush shot. Rav Yaisim says, no, there's a, there's a different story over here. Remember, where, we, where do we learn out that you could be Makadish, a woman? We learn it out, kicha kicha, mistay Ephraim. We learn it out, kicha kicha, from Avram Avinu buying the Marsa Machpelah. And over there it says, Kesef. Rav Yaisav am tamayid beishamay kid Rav Yudam Ravasi. Dom Rav Yudam Ravasi, called Kesef or Oymer B'Tayra, Kesef Tzuri. All Kesef that it says in the Torah is Tyrian Kesef. Tyrian Kesef, what we call Kesef Tzuri, um, is pure silver, not an alloy. The provincial silver, what we call Kesef Medina, is seven parts copper and one part silver. Right? That's the difference between the old dimes and the new dimes, the old quarters and the new quarters, right? whether they're pure silver or not. So, Kol Kesef Ahama Bateria Kesef Tsuri is pure silver, and silver, when the Rabbanon give an amount of silver, that's provincial silver. Now since, by Kedushin, it's, we learn it out, kicha, kicha, 
Mistay Ephron, and over there it was silver. He therefore rules that it can't be copper. And therefore a proof is no good. Very, it's a very good proof. So Gufa, I'm Rabbi Yudah, I'm a Rav Asi, called Kesef, I'm a Batayra, Kesef Tzuri. You said all Kesef in the Taira is the pure Tyrian Kesef. Uh, does anybody know if the proper pronunciation is Tyrian or Tyrian? Anybody know? Come on, there's no Roman experts over here? Uh, Probably Tyrian. Huh? Tyrian. Tyrian? Yeah. Oh, good. L lucky guess. Uh... <laughs> Um, by the way, uh, Baruch, I was da with the Kruler Rebbe this morning. Kruler Rebbe is a very hush of a mensch. Uh, uh, he's the Skull Rebbe, uh, Spinker Rebbe's son. Very, very big tzaddik. And I told him about how a Hasidish mensch gave to his son-in-law a kidney. He, was, he rejoiced to hear it. He said, ah, Gewaldic. Uh, right what? He's on the way home right now. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Also, Ella Yaffe is a whole week not in the show. No, you should have a Rafu Shalema. You don't feel good. Um, Gufa, Amr of Yudam Ravasi, called Kesef or Aimer Batayra, all the silver that says in the Torah Kesef Tsuri is Tyrian silver. Vishal Divrayam and the rabbinical is Kesef Medina, says the Gemara. Uklalahu? Is this a general principle? I, Varetaina. When we have, we know that there's a din that might have a mixas yeshava. That if I make a claim against Shelley that he owes me a hundred and he admits to fifty, so he has to swear. So what's the minimum that a shvu is needed? Silver or utensils, lishma. In this case, I give it to him as a pikadon. I give him silver or utensils to watch. And I say, give it to me back. Give me back my deposit or what I gave you to watch. So the din is, with tnan shvu is hadayonim, the court imposes an oath on Shelley where Hataina Shtekesef, where the claim is for at least two silver, and the admission is the value of a pruta. But if Kesef just means Tyrian silver, and it says Kesef in the singular, then Kesef should be even one silver. Why two silver? It doesn't say Ksofim. See, if you say kasef, we interpret as money. So then they could say the minimum money is two. But if kasef just means silver, it should be even one silver. Says the Gemara, no, the reason why it's two, really kasef is Tyrian silver. The reason why it's two is because we compare it to kalim. Hosem dumya to kalim. Ma kalim shnayim. Af kasef shnayim. The only time Shelley has to swear is on something that's uh, important. So So also the utensil has to be a dover The utensil has to be, and the, the definition of a dover is it has to have at least the value of two pieces of silver. Says the Gemara, okay, but Vahari Meiser, the Chsivit Sarta Kesef Biyodicha. We know that by Meiser, you, uh, you could take your Meiser Shani and redeem it with money and then take up the money to Yerushalayim. And it says with Tunan, and we learned in Mesephthus Meiser Shani. Ha pirate seller, mimois my sesheni. You know, you 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 have a bunch of copper coins that you redeemed uh, my sesheni. And now, when you want to carry it up to Eretz Yisrael, you don't want to carry up all that copper. It's heavy, 
So you want to exchange it for a seller, for a silver seller. But you see that you were allowed to redeem it with, with, with Prutus. But I, it says, with Tzartak Kesef, says, well, you're right. But it, if it would have said Kesef, you're right. But it doesn't say Kesef, it says Ha Kesef. Kesef, Ha Kesef, Reba. That comes to include even Prutus. Says the Gemara, Vare Hektish. What about Hektish? It says, and you give the money to redeem the hektish and it comes into your possession. And yet, hektish of a mana, hektish of value of a mana, al shava pruta that if you redeem it on a shava pruta, it's redeemed, even if it's less than its value. So you see that even though it says kesef, you could redeem it with a pruta, with a copper coin. Says the Gemara, yeah, that's because we learn out Kesef Kesef from Maiser Shein. Awesome, not me Kesef Kesef, y'all of my Maiser. My Maiser, it says Ha Kesef, and then we learn out Kesef Kesef from Maiser that it could even be uh, copper. But Vari Kedusha Isha, Dixiv Kiyikach Ish Isha Obala, when a man takes a woman, and the Gama Kicha Kicha Mistei Efren, just like over there, it says, uh, and yet, Basil says you could use Prutus. Are you going to say, Namer of Asi, who says all Kesef in the Torah is Kesef uh, Tsuri, is going according to Beishamai and not according to Basil? Namer of Asi, Domek Beishamai. Now, now, we never say that. Because we have a rule in Shas, it's a, not a flattering rule. But we have a rule in Shas that Beishami b'makam Beisilu lesser. We don't even pay attention to Beisami in the base. And therefore, it's not likely that a Shas Yisoid on the level of Ravasi that all Kesef in the Torah is Tyrian Kesef would fly in the face of Beisilu's din that you could be Mekadosh and Isha with a Pruta. Rather, the Gemara says, scratch the whole way we were learning till now. Kesef does not mean dafka silver. It means money. Except if the Torah says a fixed amount of kesef. Says the Gemara, says the If Ravasi said a rule, the rule is as follows. Ravasi any fixed amount of silver in the tire, that's Kesef Tsuri. That's Tyrian Kesef, which we said is pure silver and is uh, eight times more than uh, provincial Kesef. Vishal Divrayem Kesef Medina. So the Gemara says, well, then that's not a Kiddush. By Kamash Malon, Tanina, we already learned this in Mesechtas Bechairis. Chamei Shlom shall ben, the five Shlom of Pidina ben, Shloishim shall ever that if your Shor goes and ever Kanani, there's a Knas of 30 Kesef. Chamishim shall Oynis Vishom of the 50 Shkolim of rape and seduction, and Meya shall Moitzi Shemra, and the 100 Shkolim, if a person maligns his Kala and says that he didn't find Basulim, Kulam Beshekel HaKadosh, that's all the holy Shekel, Bamanitzuri. So we know that fixed kesef is Tyrian kesef. Says, I know you know that. But it's the second part of Ravasi's teaching. That's the Kiddush. We shall divrayem kesef medina. It's trichalei deloitana. That does not find a source in the Mishnah. That rabbinical kesef is a fixed amount, is provincial silver, which can be an alloy, the Tanya, what's an example of a fixed rabbinical kesef? If somebody either bangs somebody in the air, punches somebody in the air, or he blows at his ear, the amount that they fixed for humiliation, this is only for Boshas, nice and nice the light tamer, and don't think that that may say la abo zuze, and it's a Tyrian seller. 
Ella, it's an eighth of that. Maisela palga de zuzah. It's a half a zuz, which is an eighth of four zuz. Davin, Davide inche, the curl of palga de a half of a zuz, is stira. Now we have a third way of learning by Shammai, that he says that a woman is mekadeshes with a dinner. The Amar Chizkiya, Amar Kra, the din is by an Amar of Ria, that the idea, the end game of the Amar of Ria, here's a father, like we explained, what father sells his daughter. But there's a father whose wife, Loyalena, died. There's nobody to take care of the girl. He has to go to work. So he sells her with the hope that that will also be a shidduch. Because the buyer could fulfill the mitzvah of yiyud or give her to his son for yiyud. So the, the, the father looks for a good family and has his eye also on shidduchin. So the Pasik says that if he doesn't want to take her for yiyud, then vehefta. He should allow her to be redeemed. So let's say he sold her at 8 and she goes free at 12 and he sold her for let's say $4,000 and now she's 10. So he should allow her to be redeemed for $2,000. The after means he should allow her to be redeemed that he deducts the 2000 that she already worked, because 4000 is uh, 1000 a year, because from 8 to 12 is 1000 a year. She worked two years, so you should help her to be redeemed. He deducts from her pidyon, and he allows her to go out. Now, that he could only purchase her for dinner, no less. That's how he could deduct from the price. But if he could buy her even for a pruta, there's nothing to deduct. Vehefta means, since it doesn't say Veniptis, she's redeemed, but Vehefta means he helps her to be redeemed. He deducts the work she already did. So that means there has to be a deduction. So that means that he has to buy her for nothing less than a dinner because if he buys her from a pruta, there's nothing to deduct from a pruta. There's nothing less than a pruta. And we're going to see that we're going to learn out from the purchase of a Amaria also the buying of a woman, a Mikadish, a woman. Says, well, no, maybe it means that if there is what to deduct, you should deduct. Vil dinner. Where he paid for a dinner, Tigara, at Pruta, Hechdi Yavla Pruta, with he gave a Pruta, and there's nothing to deduct. Then, why Tigara Kla? Says the Gemara, why so Kedaita? Jumya de Yiyud. The din of, of purchasing an Amavriya is similar to Yiyud. My Yiyud, the mitzvah of Yiyud, is the mitzvah that the Odoin marries her. My yud afal gav di iboy miyayid vi boy loy miyayid. He has an option. He could marry her. He doesn't have to marry her. But if he can't marry her, let's say he's her her relative. Let's say her brother buys her. Right? If it's a relative that buys her, then he can't buy her. Because since he cannot do yud, then he can't buy her. If he cannot buy her, then then the purchase is not a good purchase. So Achanami over here, if there isn't what to deduct, then it's not a good purchase. And therefore, over, that shows that the purchase has to be a, at least a dinner. Now, what does the purchase of an Amr of Ria have to do with the Kedushan of a woman? The Kedusha Isha Lebe Shammai and the Kedushan of a woman according to Be Shammai, Nafkalumi Amr of Ria. He learns out from Amr of Ria. 
Ma Oma Avriya Bapruta Loi Mekanya, just like an Oma Avriya can't be acquired for a Pruta, Af Isha Bapruta Loi Mikdisha. So also a woman cannot be acquired with a Pruta. And therefore he holds a dinner. Now, to, now a Matzi Shabbos, we're going to discuss maybe it's a half a dinner. How do you know it's a whole dinner? We'll talk about that on Matzi Shabbos. Um, Matzi Shabbos in Yitzh Hashem, the shear will be at 10.05. 10.05, and shear throughout the week next week, we're getting earlier, will be at 8.05. So 10.05 and 8.05. Uh, and uh, also, Rabbi Isai, I, I want to say that I did earlier today the shear on for the Shabbos table. Actually, uh, Irving joined us uh, and Ruth coming back from the Poconos. He was actually the only one that was on the Zoom. Uh, but uh, we, uh, the, the digital uh, recorder was not on. So that shear is available on YouTube and on Kalaloshin and on Facebook and on Torah anytime.com, but it's those people that get the digital, it's not on digital. I'm sorry. It's a paucity of opportunities. Uh, um, we're going to do. Can I, I ask you a quick question that regarding this again? No, I'm going to do the Mishnah now.